Hey guys, hello and welcome to the team USMLE Sarthi, all who is specialized in providing you guidance throughout the match season after you take your step 1 and step 2 exam and we have been doing phenomenal over the past couple of years. But as of now, we are bringing uh, everything under one roof, like we are bringing step 1, step 2, OAT, step 3, everything under one roof. So you don't have to go here and there for all the information and right from the moment you decide that you have to take the USMLE and you have to take this journey, you know one place where you have to go and that is the USMLE Sarthi. Again, thank you so much for my previous video in which I talked about the USMLE pass fail and how to approach the USMLE pass fail and how to uh, give it in a uh, minimum time so that you can focus on other things like building your CV, your research, your step 2, your OET and so that you can apply on time. Thank you so much for your great response on that video. But honestly, I would say that that video was for the people who were in their dedicated phase and who were in the dedicated phase of their preparation, who just had to review the first aid and uh, the U world. But we have been getting a lot of queries from those people who are in the med school, either their first year of MBBS or second year of MBBS or even pre-final who are thinking to prepare for USMLE and they don't know where to start from. So in this video, I will be focusing on those aspects like if a MBBS person who is in the first year of MBBS or in the second year of MBBS decides to take on the USMLE step one, how or what is the first step like where to start from it's just like a C and you don't know where to start it from so this video will address all those things like where you have to start from what are the resources and also you know uh, what is the strategy so ideally speaking the first year thing is not for people who are in the first year or second year of MBBS because there are so many other things which are going on uh, with their curriculum like they have so much other obligations taking the university exam, taking the seminar, taking the practicals, giving the vivas. So they have to ideally balance everything along with their USMLE preparation and believe me guys you cannot afford to have you know low score in your uh, MBBS exams because obviously this is this is something that will go into your final transcript and your medical school performance evaluation or the MSPE. So in this video I will just talk about how you can balance the MBBS thing and your USMLE journey in a very ideal manner so that you are able to take your university exams and your USMLE preparation is going on smoothly. Although I took my USMLE step 1 at the end of my final year, but I started preparing for it in the second year itself, like in the mid of second year and it was, it had an advantage because I was able to read good resources so that I had a good knowledge base and I was not only exam oriented, but I had a depth of knowledge. So I want you, if you are in first year or second year or even pre-final, I want you to utilize this time, channelize this time so that you have a good base of knowledge that will be applicable not only in the step 1 but also in the step 2 and the step 3. So in this video we'll talk about the resources, we'll talk about the strategy for each particular subject that you have to follow throughout your first year or second year of MBBS. So let's start with the nightmare of first year that is the anatomy. But believe me guys, anatomy is not that hard in the step 1 as it was in our first year of MBBS. What is important in the uh, anatomy section of step 1 is only the neuroanatomy part. Like the gross anatomy is important but not that important as the neuroanatomy. Believe me, like for neurosciences, I still use the same resources that I studied for step 1. So the resource for your uh, neuroanatomy is Kaplan's anatomy textbook and we have the neurosciences section over there. You can just go and read the neurosciences and you will you know fall in love with neuroanatomy. That is how beautifully it is given in the Kaplan resource. Second thing is physiology. The mistake that most of the people including me 
do is that they read big books like Guyton and Hall or even Genome, but that is not important for USMLE Step 1. For USMLE Step 1, you need to know a limited amount of concepts but in a crystal clear manner and that is why I will ask you to study Kaplan from your first year and make your concepts of physiology absolutely clear because the concepts of physiology are the building blocks for pharmacology and medicine. If you know physiology well, you know pharmacology well and you will know medicine well. That is the whole scenario. So for uh, physiology, just refer to the Kaplan. The third subject in the first year is biochemistry and genetics. You know that biochemistry and genetics are ignored in our curriculum. In Indian setup, they are ignored. Like they are not given that much importance because uh, already anatomy and physiology they are taking the most of the times in first year and second year. But I would say you have to study biochemistry and genetics in a very great manner. For that I refer to Kaplan. I would also suggest you refer to Kaplan. Uh, I think Dr. Sam Turco and uh, Dr. Raymond they are the one who teach uh, biochemistry and they have taken the biochemistry in absolute detail. And I would say not like first year where you study physiology and anatomy here you from the step one point of view you will study physiology and you will study biochemistry so this was the whole idea regarding how to balance your uh, first year mbbs with your us value step one preparation just go on the you go and take the university exam with the knowledge of physiology and biochemistry you will do great but for anatomy you have to read those standard books whether you read Gray's Anatomy or BDC, whatever you read, you have to read those because gross anatomy isn't given that much in Kaplan and you don't need gross anatomy for uh, taking the step one to that extent, but you need it to pass your university exam. So you have to keep a balance. After first year, let's come to the second year and the most important subject of second year from university, from step one point of view is pathology and almost like 50%, 60% of the exam is based on, upon pathology and pathophysiology. Pathoma is the gold standard, everyone knows, everyone talks about it. What I did was like read Pathoma over six and seven times in my second year of MBBS and I would advise you to do the same. Like read it, read it for six to seven times your second year if you can and that will be a gold standard resource for taking your university exam as well. Because if you study it, very thoroughly, you will be able to reproduce all those smears, you will be able to reproduce all those histopathological changes, all those gross, gross features and you will easily manage the university exam. Talking about the pharmacology, pharmacology is easy if you talk about the step one because the only thing they ask is mechanisms and adverse effect. Okay, it is not that hard and believe me, you can pass your university exam only reading the Kaplan because I passed it very nicely just reading the Kaplan. Okay, so read Kaplan, take the university and it is very appropriate and very, uh, I would say, uh, enough for your university step one preparation. So we are done with path, we are done with form. Talking about microimmuno. Immuno is a trickier thing. I read it from Kaplan. I would also say read it from Kaplan, but first aid is a must too. If you read it from Kaplan and do it from first aid, that is what you need for the whole immuno thing. Micro, microbiology is something we, you know, we are not that comfortable in, you know, revising and uh, uh, keeping in brain all those bugs because we mix up. That is why the sketchy micro is such a nice resource and it comes to rescue all those things. Sketchy micro is basically a video compilation of all the bugs in which all the bacteria microbes they are talked and they are taught in a sketchy manner. Like there is a scenario, there will be a story, there will be a sketch and they will correlate the feature of the bugs with that sketch and that is how you keep it uh, simple and keep it intact and keep it revising your sketchy micro thing. So we have patho, we have pharma, we have microimmuno. Uh, this is uh, almost 80 to 90 percent of the step one syllabus. But what we are left with is biostatistics, epidemiology and psychiatry. I would say uh, don't mix up these things with your first year, second year curriculum. Keep these things aside and when you uh, try to study in your dedicated period, then you can read these things like psych, biostats, epidemiology 
and uh, behavioral and these things can be kept for later on but not mix up mix these things with first year and second year so this is all the information and this is very to the point that you need if you are in first year and second year and you are a beginner only this information and only these resources you need don't jump here and there you know taking other resources and confusing yourself you just focus on your university exam on your kaplan resources and easily pass the university exam you know and uh, enter into your dedicated period where you will start the first year and the you will think as we discussed in our previous video i hope you like this video if you have questions do let us know in the comment section and we'll be happy to help you thank you so much